The first one we want to go over is stabilizing selection. And this is when the most common phenotype, the average phenotype, is selected for. And extremes away from this phenotype are not advantageous. And the best way to learn this is again with an example. So let's say we have a population of birds that have variable beak sizes. And their prey is beetles that live in small holes in the barks of trees. Now birds that have beaks that are too small can fit their beaks into the holes but their beaks don't have the tools necessary to properly break the shell of the beetles that live in there. And birds with beaks too large can easily break the shells of beetles, but can't properly fit their beaks into the holes that those beetles live in. So birds with medium-sized beaks can grab beetles from their dens and can properly break through their shells. So as you can see, beak sizes would remain the same. Any birds born with beaks too large or beaks too small would not be as effective and therefore have less kids and not become a bigger portion of the population. This was just a short clip uh, from a longer video on my channel where you can learn evolution from any level of understanding and we're going to try and take you up to a university level understanding. So go check it out if you want to learn a little more.